Okay, let us discuss about chemical changes today. There are two main types of changes, physical change and chemical change. For physical change, there's actually no new substance being formed and it usually can be reversed as it only involves the changes in states. But for chemical change, it actually results from chemical reaction. So there are actually new substance being formed and it's very difficult to reverse. Okay, below are some examples of changes. Let us take a look at whether they are physical or chemical change. For the first part, we have the changes caused by heat. So if there's changes in state like melting, freezing, condensation, evaporation and boiling and sublimation, this is actually a physical change as there's no new substance form. When there's expansion and contraction involved, it is also a physical change because there's no new substance being formed. The third one, um, decomposition. This is the breakdown of substance into two or more simpler substance under heat. So since there's a new substance being formed, it's going to be a chemical change. The fourth one, combination. So when there's two or more substance combining to form a new substance, again, this will be a chemical change. Okay, let us look at the changes due to light. Photosynthesis is a process when light energy is being absorbed by green plants to make food. So because they make food, it's a new substance being formed. So therefore, this is going to be a chemical change. Okay, for photography, light actually decomposes the silver bromide coating on photographic films into silver. So again, this is going to be a chemical change. For the changes due to electricity, electrical heating is being achieved through passing electricity through some metals. So there's no new substance being formed. So therefore, this is a physical change. The second one, electrical lighting is achieved through passing of electricity through some metals like tungsten. So again, no new substance formed. So it's a physical change. The last one, electrolysis. This is the decomposition of solution or compound by passing an electrical current through them and new substances are being formed, so this is going to be a chemical change. So as we can see from the above, the physical changes are changes of state, expansion and contraction, electrical heating and electrical lighting. Okay, well, the chemical changes are decomposition, combination, combustion, photosynthesis, photography and electrolysis.